on our way from uh, Flagstaff to Albuquerque. Um, we didn't get very far from Flagstaff and there was a sign saying Media Crater Road. So I made the assumption that it was the Media Crater um, that uh, we wanted to go and see anyway. Um, we've turned off and we're heading up to Media Crater right now. So hopefully it's as impressive as we think it will be. And I've seen it a lot on um, on all of the science shows and things and astronomy shows and things that I've been watching. So I'm looking forward to this. It should be good. Okay, now heading over to the crater now. Um, on the outside, it's, uh, it's a bit windy. Alright, so Media Crater was created by a um, an iron or nickel iron meteorite. It came in from the uh, southeast and struck the um, the surface of the desert in Arizona at about 26,000 miles per hour. It basically drilled a hole about. I think they said 1700 feet deep and that has since uh, filled up it's now about 700 feet deep and the bottom of the, the crater um, you might or may not be able to make out there's a couple of mine shafts one of them is an old mine shaft um, and beside it is like a an old steam boiler and that's where I can't remember his name, I think it was Barringer. He was looking for the iron core of the media so that he could sell it to the railroad companies. Uh, he spent 30 years searching for the iron core, which unfortunately for him, it, um, it vaporized on impact and the, the, the little tiny um, granules of it solidified into little pellets and they're scattered all around about five miles around the, uh, the outside of the crater so there was no iron core for him to find. He spent um, like I said about 30 years trying to find it and basically bankrupted himself uh, which was unfortunate but there we have it. Beside the old um, mine shaft there's the new scientific um, shaft which has got looks like a um, a cast iron grill over it, which I can make out with a native one, a naked eye, uh, and that's where the um, the big boffin scientists and professors go down and, and do their research. Okay, there we have it, Media Crater, Arizona. Um, definitely on the top 10 things to see and do in the US. So that's about an hour of our time wandering around Media Crater. Quite interesting. What did you think? Not too bad. Quite interesting. With the, with the what was it? 27 dollars? the 54 dollars. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. We both think it's worthwhile. Uh, the money's worth it to come out and have a look at it. Um, and the really interesting thing is it's um, it's really close to the highway and you know only it's like six miles from the highway so it's nice and easy to get to as, you, as you're driving between um, um, Albuquerque and, and um, Flagstaff. If you're heading from uh, anywhere heading up to um, the Grand Canyon or the or California, um, it's not a big diversion to come down here and have a look at this. Well worth it. But it's very windy, be prepared for that. Yeah, I lost my hat a couple of times. Luckily it didn't go in the crater. Yeah, I had to hold on to my glasses. Okay. 
See you next time, guys. Bye. Okay, so we're passing through Winslow, Arizona. So if you're a bit of a music buff, that's uh, an Eagles song. Um, features Winslow, Arizona. Um, Take It Easy, I think it is. So there we go, another little bit of history. driving to Walter White's house in Breaking Bad. Look at this, it's got the fence all around. Which one? This way. I'm just going to turn around. So that's it there with the fence all around. Do not disturb. On. There you go. So it's right in front of us. Got a big fence around it, got no parking stuff all around it. Um, obviously the people are being disturbed a lot by by um, more people coming in to look at Walter White's house. So, I mean, if you're in Albuquerque and um, you're wanting to look at something that's you know, famous for Albuquerque, then Breaking Bad is, um, is the thing. Uh, I don't think we'll get out and disturb the people. No. Right? Do you think we should get out and disturb the people? Definitely not. Yeah. Um, we're definitely not going to do that because, um, well, it's, it's not in our culture to do that sort of thing. Um, so, we're not going to do it. But here we go, Breaking Bad, Walter White's house, Albuquerque, another one off the list. We have been stalking Walter White's house <laughs> <laughs> by eating our breakfast and coffee right in front of it and we are leaving now. I'm absolutely a little bit disturbed that this poor family has to go to these ex extremes so that they won't be um, disturbed by the public, you know, people going and parking on their driveway, knocking on their door, ridiculous. <laughs>